about the lessons we've learned as we work on the governance of a very unusual school, a school in um, Floyd, Virginia. I, I did put the link in the chat in response to the leader question. So you have that in the chat. And it, it was founded <clears throat> as a relatively straightforward alternative school about 11 years ago by three founders and focused on the ages of 13 to 18. And then over the years, uh, two of the founders left, which left just one remaining, uh, Jenny Finn. And as often happens with new organizations, you know, they, they wanted to have a board, a board that included uh, parents and community people and they ended up with a 13 person board and the uh, Jenny Finn um, was asked about three or four years ago, what, what, what is it you're focused on? And she said, vitality, right? What brings you alive? And there was a lot of discussion about that word. Is that the word we want? Why would we choose that word? You know, as you can imagine in a board. But Jenny persisted. And then a couple of years ago, two or three years ago, uh, the question was, well, why? Why focus on vitality? And her answer was to enable the development of regenerative cultures. That's the why. And I became acquainted with the school three years ago. And right at the time that the staff had completely reorganized to focus on their vitality, right? What was it that was really bringing them alive as a staff? And so we thought, well, if we did that as a staff, the board should do the same. And as we did that work, it was clear that of the 13 people on the board, 10 really didn't want to be on the board. It wasn't what brought them alive. They were just doing their duty. And they wanted to be supportive of the school, but it wasn't bringing them alive. So the 13 person board became a three person board. And we initially thought, okay, well, then we're only going to do what a board absolutely has to do, which in the United States is make sure that the official reports are filed with the state and with the taxing authorities and to assure that the uh, director is doing a good job. That's basically it. And about a year ago, we said that is not sufficient. If the, if the school is intending to be a generative learning organization and in pursuing vitality was often changing their offerings. So unlike a traditional board where there's a very clearly designed agenda, and the executive director is charged with executing that agenda. In this case, it really was wanting to be an emergent organization, taking the next step, always focused on vitality. Well, if that was the case, then the board itself should also be a generative learning organization. So we, the three of us who were on the board added a year ago, we added a, a recent graduate. So uh, I'm 70, another board member. Uh, so I'm 70, another uh, board member is 60, another board member is 40, and this recent alum is in her early 20s. And we declared that we really wanted to be ourselves 
a generative learning community. And to do so, we had to do more than just what a board usually does. And so we actually um, had, a, had a retreat where we were together um, for a total of two days, half day, full day, half day, um, developing that relational trust through uh, conversations and activities. And then um, we also agreed that we would um, meet as a board and do our board work every quarter, but we would meet to just focus on our relationships and what was coming up for us uh, in our lives and relating to the school uh, every month. So we are in that uh, journey, and I don't know how many else of you have those issues with boards and relationship between the staff and the board, but I would say that our board relationships have never been better, and our relationships with the staff have never been better.